13 to 21. I want to get to John 8, verse 13 to 21. Let us get there. Are you ready? I do, I'm not preaching. I'm just, I'm just reasoning with you all. The, 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 the Pharisees therefore said unto him, Thou bearest record of thyself. Thy record is not true. Jesus answered and said unto them, Though I be a record of myself, yet my record is true. For I know whence I came and whether I go. But you cannot tell whence I come and whether I go. You judge me after the flesh. I judge no man. And yet if I judge, my judgment is true. For I am not alone, but I and the Father that sent me. It is also written in your law that the testimony of two men is true. I am the one that bear witness of myself and the father that sent me bear witness of me. Then said they unto him, where is thy father? Jesus answered, you neither know me nor my father. If you had known me, you should have known my father also. These words speak Jesus in the treasury as he taught in the temple and no man laid on on him for his hour was not yet come then said jesus unto them i go my way and you shall seek me and shall die in your sin whether i go you cannot come are you hearing what jesus said he said his word is being preached to you testimonies are being preached to you you know where I'm coming from and God has brought me here, right here to stand in your midst, to tell you about salvation, to tell you about heaven, to tell you about hell. But because you are so, you're stiff naked, your ears is hard of hearing, you're not paying attention, you don't want to hear it. He is saying there's going to be a time when just like the scribes and Pharisees, you're going to seek me, but you will not find me. And where I go, you cannot come are you hearing me you cannot come because you are not clean that is why you cannot come you're gonna die in your sins and that is what it said and the word lie not i don't have to tell you anything else come to god i didn't wish to talk about you ladies you know but somebody need to tell you. Yes. Sometimes you, the, the, the ray of light that used to be on you. You know. It's gone. There's no more. You're going. You reach the end of the tunnel. And you're still not turning. There's no more out there for you. Stop. In the name of Jesus. Stop in the name of Jesus. Stop killing. Stop prostituting stop selling your soul stop beat down your one another to get to the top because there's no eye to climb yeah the eye monkey climb where your grandmother said mm -hmm. i will say the rest yes so this is what the bible shed right here you will seek him. That's why you need to seek him. Know while he may be found. Call upon him while he's near. Because if you don't do it now. You don't know if this pandemic, if you're going to last through it. Amen, somebody. Yeah? So look, Jesus said, I go my way and you shall seek me and die in your sin. Because where I go, you cannot come. You know what really gets me though? Look at verse 41. Look at verse 41 to 44. You look. That's John 8. Look at 41 to 44. He do the deeds of your father. Then said they to him, We be not born of fornication. We have one father, even God. Jesus said unto them, If God were your father, you would love me. For I proceeded forth and came from God, Neither came I of myself, but he sent me. I am a messenger. God has sent me to you today. Why do you not understand my speech? Even because you cannot hear my voice. You are of your father, the devil. 
and the loss of your father, he will do. That means you will do. He was a murderer. You're listening, murderers? He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. You're lying to yourself. You're a joke. You look like a joke. But because people are not telling you, it's true. I used to be you, ladies. I used to be you. And I was even more... Yeah, but you're gone deep, man. My God of glory. How much more preachers have to talk to you? A lady came to me at one of the big stage shows in Jamaica and gave me a Bible. I had that Bible until demons attack a young girl. And when I was using the Bible, the, the demons start tearing out leaves through her. But I still have that Bible. She said, God gave me this to give you and these CDs. What am I doing now? This could be you. And you could be way better than me because God might just anoint you in such a way that you create a walk to the kingdom of darkness where you're at right now. Yeah, because that's where you are. But you're going further in there. Submit now before it's too late. Submit now. Before it's too late. Even you prime ministers and police and people in high places. If you're doing wrong, submit. Government, submit to the law of God. And you will govern your nation the way. Because God has put you there. You need to go by the law of God. Look at this. Submit to God and resist the devil. And he will flee from you. Let us look at the original text. What does the original text say? We were way over here in James chapter 4, right? What does it say? Let us read this for the ladies them to know. Start it from the top. From whence come war and fighting among you? Remember when all that was happening with me and Spice? I leave. I wasn't going to lose my sanity and my soul. Ah, I leave. And now it's the same thing again. From whence come war and fighting among you? Come there in that ends, evil of your loss, that war in your member. This is for the church, right? Paul was talking to me. I'm talking to you too. He lost and have not he killed and desired to have and cannot obtain. He fight and war. Yet he have not. What are you fighting for? You all know you can't gain it. Hmm? Look at this. All know you can't gain it. He said. You have not because. You ask not. Yeah. You ask and receive not. Because you ask amiss. That you may consume it upon your loss. Why are you doing what you're doing? You are asking God to bless you while you're out here doing them sinful things. God ain't blessing you out there. It's a devil. It's a work. Yeah? Look at this now. You adulterers and adult adulteress. Know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God? Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. Look at this now. God, I'm telling them to submit. What is an example of enmity when I check? Enmity is defined as a deep and bitter hatred usually shared between enemies. Yeah? That means if you are a lover of the world, you are an enemy of God. And God is bitter. God ate the world. Meaning, 
the sins of the world. So if you are in sin and you're doing those things, you're an enemy of God. In verse 5, verse 5 is saying to Christian that some things that some Christian do, it may feel normal. Yes? But it's as if you're cheating on your husband. You're cheating on God, you know, but just, just use this. It's like you're cheating on your husband as a wife. That is when, when I really study, that's what it really, you know, say. It's like a, a wife cheating on her husband or a husband cheating on a wife, you know. So you're cheating God. God is mad at you. Amen. And listen, and as we read, yeah, we read, God is a jealous God. In Exodus 20 verse 5, God is a jealous God. I'm not going to show today. I'm finishing up. He is jealous of the fact that he puts the Holy Spirit in us to dwell. His Spirit is in us to dwell. Even you up here who are not yet saved. Yeah, God put life in you. And this is how you pay him. God, this body is a temple. And I used to do some things with this body. Fly up so, one so, but ray, 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 and ray. Look, God is jealous. Because the spirit that dwells in you, you're using, you're fighting against the spirit of God. Yeah? You're doing sinful things that are not to do. Yeah? If you know that you're not living as God wants you to live, yeah? Turn now. Turn away from sin and submit now. I'm going to tell you not for the last time, but I'm telling you now. Now is the time because in verse 6 and 7, it tells us about God grace. Yes, it tells us about God grace right here. But he give it more grace. Wherefore, he said, God resist the proud and give it grace unto the humble. Humble yourself before God. Humble yourself before God. You may be hyping in front of mankind, but humble yourself before God. Yes, God is telling us that the grace is available to you just as it is available to me. So if you come to God, God will, he will pour his grace upon you. Grace is not just for me. We are saved by grace through faith. Amen, somebody. So look at this now. God, grace is available to you. Yeah, he also tells us that we should resist the devil. Yeah, so if you resist the devil and come to God, God will accept you. Yeah, many people are too proud to serve God. You're too proud to call upon Jesus. Some of you, you dying inside like Lady Sa used to die inside. Oh God, it used to be like, God, I'm so sorry. God, I, God I'm turning now. Yes, yeah, and I was just fighting with the two worlds. But there comes a time when you have to get mad in the spirit. And you have to say, see, I can let me go. Let me go. Are you, I have no lot not part with you now. Let me go. It is God time. I am seeking God now. I don't want nothing from you. What is it that you want? Are you too proud to yield to God calling? The Bible tells us in Hebrews 2, 3 verse 15. As, listen, as it is said today, if you hear his voice, if you, just like I heard his voice, you remember? I heard his voice before the 14th of December 2015 and I still went and did some things and I came back. I heard his voice on the 14th and I, I healed. So listen, as it is said today, if you hear his voice, harden not your heart. As in the rebellion. God is GT. God is talking about the rebellious children of Israel. What happened to them? They die in the wilderness. Die there. Die in their sin. Look at this now. The first time I tell you when I heard God's voice. I should have stopped the nastiness right there and got baptized. Yeah. But somehow I wasn't strong enough. And the devil sent his offspring to antagonize me. But this time around I'm warning you. Not yet. I'm warning you now. This time I have, I'm not running away. Because you can't drive me out of nothing. Yes. I walked away because I knew I was going to hell. And you were going to be the cause of me going to to hell but I whatever is gonna be the cause I'm trying to stop you let not money and greed the things of the world draw you to hell I'm telling you there is a way that seemeth right unto man but the end thereof is the way of death I'm warning you turn turn there is a voice
voice. There must be a voice. If it's not the voice of God, someone around you must be saying, you know, that is not good. You shouldn't be doing that. Heal. Heal. Do not heal to temptation. No, we know. Listen. Come. It's time. I'm not forcing you to baptize, but yes, you should. Yes, you should. With all that you've done, you need a baptism. And when you get baptized in the water, I pray in the name of Jesus that I, he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. Amen, somebody. So I'm talking to you right now. Sometimes you want to prove something. Sometimes it's a man that I was out here. Yes, it's time for us to come to God. But because he is in sin, we out here. Yes, sometimes it's a woman. We know it's time to walk away, but we're not moving. Sometimes it's the money. We want the this and the that. God can afford it. God can buy your Gucci. He can buy your Prada. He can buy your La Perlas. Yes, he can. Yes, we still wear La Perlas. Yes, God money good. A good money that. That money bring no sorrow. It, uh, yeah, it's the blessing of the Lord. Make it one rich. You, you, you. God make you richer. Yeah, and it add no sorrows. Amen, somebody. Stop looking at the things of the world. Amen, somebody. Come on now. Cut all ties with the devil. Cut all ties with the offsprings of this earth. And said, God, it's your time. I am rich enough. If you're looking at the money, you have house. Yes, you have car. Yes, step away. Come to Christ. He's waiting on you. He's calling you. He's calling you. That is when you lay in your bed and you feel the conscience start riding you. That is God on your conscience. And he's telling you, come on now, this is disgraceful. It's time you stop. You're gone overboard. Come on now, lock up your passage. Lock up your foot and come back. Put on, listen, girl, take up your baggy and put on your baggy. Them things, they don't fit you no more. It's, come on now, get yourself together. You have a child looking at you. Come on now. People are talking. Get yourself out of that nastiness. It's time for you to clean up your nastiness. Come on now. Didn't you hear me preach on it already? I don't want you paid promotion. I tell you this is not for paid promotion. Leave it alone. I'm praying now and I'm preaching. And you come in here talking about you paying me. I don't want your money. Keep your money. I'm preaching. God give me this platform to please. And I'm sending people here. Yeah, they will give me love offering. I'm not worried about nothing. Look, people of God, tell the people them to turn, no man. You know, stop, listen, st just tell them the truth, no man. If the truth hurt, tell them. Tell them, make it hurt them. Hey, Amen, somebody. Blood of Jesus. Come on now, you don't want to crucify me for the makeup on my face. Eh? And, and you see the people them going to hell and you're not helping them. What's wrong with you? Eh? What are you here for? You're a hypocrite. Eh? You, ju you, you just blog. When you're supposed to blog, you ain't blogging. Tell them the truth. Blood of Jesus now. Come on now. Me say when I look and I see Megan Thee Stallion slam the little girl nearly kill her. Jesus Christ. She go like this and she pull back her ears. It, I, I, I cry. I cry. I cry for you, young lady. I cry for you. When I see the woman just go so and slam you down. And it's like you, you, they tell you what to do. Pressing your buttons. That was not your mom. We. You're beautiful. Look at you, Miss Jamaica. Look how you're nice. Eh? Hey? Jada, get a writer with some melodies. Do some songs that will take women out of bondage. You are bound. And I pray that God will lose you, all of you. And I'm not afraid of none of you. None of you. Because if I was famous, yeah, people would be like bombarding this platform here. Yeah? But I don't care. For those people if they don't want to come if they don't want to hear what god have to say yeah natty kish good morning hmm? turn 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 away now when you hear that little small voice yeah it's god talking to your conscience yeah but the devil sent his offspring, offspring them to draw you deeper in sin. Yeah? So hell with that. If it had not been for my mother prayers, my grandmother prayers, my great grandmother prayers, I wouldn't be here. Prayers of the saints, I wouldn't be here. I thank you, saints of God. Thank you, my brothers and sisters who prayed. 
yeah and i'm praying for you yes when you feel ashamed of what you're doing i could see shame in your eyes baby girl sincere your smiles are fake i was there before i know you wish if you could turn you can't turn you want to use god as the excuse use him and say you know she's speaking the truth whatever money i owe you i'm gonna do this album but i want to do good songs I don't want to do this no more. Walk away. You want to use your children as a escape route? But better escape than Jesus and your children. Eh? Come. Bad girl, come. Come. Look at this now. I'm praying for you. I thank you, Jesus. If it had not been for these two knees and them lonely hotel rooms, even when I had my man with me, I was still lonely. He, he used to say, Marion, go your bed now. But he didn't understand that God was touching my heart in a way and allowing my conscience to drown me in. I, can't, I couldn't go to bed. I couldn't sleep. I pray that God will bother your conscience. Bother your conscience until you come to him. There is no other way but through Christ. Yeah? If it wasn't for these knees, these two knees and these two hands, yeah, I would have a passport going to hell right now. Yes? But because I wasn't greedy for the things that the devil was gifting me with. The devil do entice you. Trust me. Yeah. The devil will give you gifts. But God are better gifts. The gift of eternal life with him. Yeah. Salvation. Yes. You dash off that crown. Because I dash off my crown. That's where everything. And I say God here I am. I'm broken. But not dead. Look at me. I'm broken, but not that dead. That's, that was God, God told me. You might be broken, but you're not dead. So I'm here to talk to you broken people. Men and women who are lost in sin. There is a way. It's the only way. Jesus Christ. The only way to get to the Father is through Him. So walk away right now. Yeah? Share this life, people of God. There's a woman that is crying secretly inside and laugh when she come in front of a crowd. There's a woman who is Lady Saul. A woman who feels so trapped, lonely, but to please the world and to make that money to live a certain life Maybe for the family to support the family or what. They go on stage and strip. They go on stage and they do all sort of man of evil things. And when nighttime comes and they go back to that room, it's cold. Even when they have a man there, it's cold. It's lonely. They're crying out, but they're ashamed and too proud to cry out to Jesus. They're, they will go in a church and sit down. But as soon as the trouble is over, they've gone right back to where they're coming from. There is a young man who is lost. A young man who has a gun or more than one gun. A young man who has been led by a don or a, a gangster. A young man who is in a gang. A young man who is troubled. A young man who is controlled by the devil. That young man needs to be free today. Yeah? Yes. That young man needs to be free today. 
that mother needs to remember why God bless her with her children. Amen, somebody? There is someone who needs Jesus today, but don't know how to reach out to him. Yes? And because they are too proud, hell is able to hold on to them. Yes? Tell them about hell. Preach about hell, evangelists. Yes? It is greed that will take you to hell. It is, you have friends that will take you to hell. It is stubbornness that will take you to hell. Yes? Sinful things will take you to hell. Yes? I remember I was to throw away the crown. Yes? And I said, this will not take me to hell. I will not gain the world and lose my soul. Some already lost their sanity. Yes? Somebody please share this life. Hell is causing havoc in this earth. And we need hell raiders to raid hell and take back what the enemy has stolen from us. We need to take back our children, take back our sisters, take back our husbands, take back our wives, take them back, people of God. Take them back in the name of Jesus. Evangelist Audrey, pray. We're praying for souls that are lost. We're praying for people who are carrying burdens, not knowing that Jesus is ready to take your burden away from you. Yes, people are serving devils. Yes, people are serving devils. And not God. You need to turn and submit before it is too late. Yes. If you want to keep your sanity. Aishana. Yes. If you want to keep your sanity. Spice. If you want to keep your sanity. What's her name? Jada Kino. You want to keep your sanity. What is Shensia? Run. Run. Use your children as a escape rope. Run. Run. Yeah. Run. Run like Lady Star. Run. Run. There's no, listen, there's nothing to be ashamed of. You're not losing anything more than your sanity, yourself, your, di your dignity. I, it, it don't take that for me to run. If I'm with a man and he talks to me as if I'm less than who I am, I'm running. Yet if I, yet I know if, you see, if you're with somebody and you see anger, they need anger management. You run, right? Run, run. This is something you need to run from. Run if you want to keep your sanity. I say run. Run if you want to escape hell. Run. Yes, if you don't want demons to continue to climb upon you. Run. Because I'm telling you, you you're making way for demons to. And Lord Jesus of Nazareth. Listen now. If you don't want to live in shame no more. Run. Run. If you don't want to live in this, if you don't want disgrace to be your portion, because there's going to come a time when shame and disgrace is going to be your portion. Amen, somebody. You need to run. Yes, live with what dignity you have left. Heed to God warning. Resist the devil. Yeah, and leave. Leave. You're fighting for position. And there's no earthly position that will give you salvation. Amen. There's no earthly position that will give you salvation. Amen. Somebody run because man can't save you. Run. No money can't save you. Run because fame cannot save you. Yes. I have run already. I run into the arms of Jesus and I'm so happy that I did. The Bible shed right here. Submit. Therefore unto God. Resist the devil. And he will flee from you. I'm going to tell you something that's going to hurt you. There's a difference between a dancehall queen and the queen of dancehall. Colleen was a dancehall queen. You remember? She used to dance in her some tongue. Like a panty in her butt. Yeah? Pretty and she good. Yeah? And I saw her in Canada once and some man touched her in one big fight. That is whining, yeah? <coughs> dance her queen, wine up. Queen of dance hall is a lyricist. Yeah? You're no queens of